In today's news, Congress is finally ready for crypto and also for XRP's adoption. The switch has just been flipped and institutionally important people, industry experts, have confirmed that hundreds of trillions of dollars will enter this space in the next few months by the end of this year, 2024. And in my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course, I believe XRP will be the asset to soak up most of this new liquidity. Firstly, we have this breaking announcement here from Fox Business journalist Elena Terrett New. The American Bankers Association, which helped write what the crypto industry says is Elizabeth Warren's anti-crypto bill, wrote a letter to President Joe Biden to sign the SAB 1 to 1 repeal into laws hours before he vetoed it. This is a very, very crucially big deal. A massive win for crypto and confirmation that times are changing and the switch has been flipped effectively the america's bankers association which previously worked with elizabeth warren asked joe biden not to veto sab one to one therefore meaning they are now siding with crypto and that is the truth of the matter the message that keeps on being reiterated the reason why assets like xrp will explode in value and make us early investors heavy rich comes down to this flip of the switch moment that is happening worldwide and especially now in the united states it's regulations pay very close attention to this video oh, this is because of bad policy and i and, and okay. I, I could argue this very effectively because i do it day to day which is the people building utility are the ones blocked okay like this is what is so incredibly frustrating is that the people that exactly when you get in trouble is when you add utility according to the current thinking of regulators okay and so you're actually incentivized to do something like a meme coin and by the way meme coin i mean one that has absolutely no utility because people say different things and we're not anti meme coins so all these crypto twitter thinks we are i'm just i'm just i'm anti a policy that says that you can't do anything in addition to a meme coin, which is the current policy. And I know that because, you know, I can't, God knows how much we've spent on lawyers and our team, our companies have spent on lawyers and how many conversations I've had that are very frustrating. The default has become for most of these projects now to block the US. Like I, many, many projects now, they block North Korea, Russia, Iran, and the US. Like this has become the norm in the space, which is just, I just think it's absolutely uh, tragic that this is the state of the art in this, in this thing. And, or you go offshore, or you build something with like a meme coin with no utility. So I, I would argue, look, I think this is, I think that, that that situation is a result of bad policy. And I think, and I think let me, on, a, on, a, on a happier note, um, Fit 21 and sort of the legislation, the various legislation that's approved, I think will fix that. Like it's a, it's, it's a really good, really, really good step forward. I have said publicly before that I think 99% of all crypto probably goes to zero. But there is that 1% where I think that is focused on solving a real problem for real customers and is able to do that at scale. And that's going to be game changing. And I think that's going to continue to grow significantly in the decades ahead. So in the words of Brad Garlinghouse, 99% of cryptos, therefore the ones with no utility, the ones that won't be regulated, 99% of cryptos will fail and as we saw from this section of the video america is in a tough spot with bad policies running rampant which is at fault of both elizabeth warren and also of carrie gensler in fact we could hear briefly explained in roughly 30 seconds from john deaton in this video just how corrupt these two are and exactly why now congress have abandoned them listen closely because yeah. it was getting tracked yeah the federal government is the the fourth or the fifth largest holder of bitcoin because you can confiscate it right because they have right um and so when you think of that it's just insane of what senator warren is proposing and gary gensler is her minion and doing everything that she wants they're conspiring and coordinating together they they've Basically, Elizabeth Warren, we all know, told Gary Gensler, here are not only the questions I'm going to ask, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but here's the answers. Here's the answers, yeah. Say this, <laughs> so that later she can say, look what the SEC chair said. Well, you told him to say it. See, and I think people are sick and tired of that. Going back to this video again, Fit21, as he stated, will fix the policy problems in the U.S., and need I remind you that Congress confirmed previously that it was thanks to Ripple with XRP and their legal victories in the court against the SEC that opened the eyes of Congress, a need for change, and this change is 
accelerating. If we can see from Ellen Terrett once again, Coinbase CEO confirms says the company had donated $25 million to vote anti-crypto politicians out of Congress, a very, very big deal. But furthermore, Ripple and the Digital Pound Foundation, according to an article from Ripple, instant payments in Europe can cost as much as 30 euro per payment, but digital currencies asset like XRP could offer a better solution, an accelerated shift to instant payments across Europe. And as we can see from Mr. Man XRP in this video from the ECB European Central Bank Tips Evolution Team leader, the shift to instant payments is moving too slow right now. So new legislations will be introduced to help expedite the instant payment landscape. So get ready for the acceleration. Up to 16.82. What does this represent? This represents the share of instant payment compared to the total of the credit transfer volume. Should we happy about this? Well, my reply might not be relevant. I am not happy about that because I see that this is uh, going uh, too slowly. But most importantly, <clears throat> it was the European Commission that considered this to be really too slow. And that is why uh, we are uh, now confronted with a new piece of legislation that we will talk about uh, in a while that is trying to move the industry from the old paradigm to the new paradigm. The new paradigm being the instant payment. In a way, to use the words of a, a commissioner from uh, Ireland, uh, it is like moving from the old letters to the emails. No, it's uh, really a change, total change of paradigm. It cannot happen immediately. But it cannot take so long. If you consider that the scheme started in uh, 2017, I think, and now we are in 2024 and still we have not reached 20%, this is really uh, not acceptable. It is with this incoming acceleration, this is where we will see XRP explode, XRP thrive. When we least expect it, it will skyrocket in value. Chainlink CEO, co-founder even, confirms this fact when he states that this year 2024 is the year crypto and the global financial system will merge. Very, very big news. Hundreds of trillions of dollars will enter this space and it is in my personal opinion that XRP will soak up most of this new liquidity. Pay close attention. The world we're going to is still the world where all the world's value, all credit, all derivatives, all commodities, everything is basically on chain and represented on chain and composable on chain into more and more advanced financial products in an efficient, quick way. So we're not talking months, we're talking minutes to seconds. Right now, what takes months will take minutes to seconds. And as more and more assets get on chain, they'll become composable and they'll be begin to create their own kind of benefits from being composed into more and more advanced baskets of things. So right now we're basically in the position where we're at a tipping point where the numbers have far surpassed what they were in the past. And we're on a trajectory where all the world's biggest institutions are starting to look at how to put their value on chain. So I would say that Basically, this year is the year when our industry shifts into this um, new direction about being about public chains and about the global financial system merging into a single into a single industry, into a single Internet of contracts. So the gist from this video that you need to understand and pay attention to, it is all about tokenization, as we heard in this video, but also regulations, both fields which XRP are leading in. XRP to become the first crypto asset in US history to receive legal regulatory clarity. And as we can see in this video here from the Good Morning Crypto, a video with Paul Barron, the era of tokenization for Ripple and XRP is beginning as BNY Mellon, the world's largest custodian bank, reports that 97% of asset managers believe tokenization will revolutionize finance. And at the beginning of this year, January 29th, 2024, BNY Mellon's head of digital asset products departs for Ripple. So therefore, it's highly, highly likely that Ripple has positioned the XRP ledger to dominate the tokenization of real world assets. Pay close attention. For XRP or for Ripple, Tokenized assets are going to be the vehicle that this is going to, uh, I think, transact around. And if you follow where the money is going, you probably would agree. Here's a clip to talk about that. 
BNY Mellon is the world's largest custodial bank. They're the bank that your banks bank with. And they did a study of uh, institutional asset managers to get their opinions on what they think about this space. And that report found that 97% of asset managers believe that tokenization will revolutionize the asset management industry. The ones with more than a trillion dollars, basically the largest asset managers, 100% of them are interested in this space. So I don't know about you, but I've always been told, follow the money. And this is where the money is going. And if you do follow the money and you also follow the major moves of key executives, because that usually is another indicator, here's one right here. BNY Mellon's head of digital asset product departs for, guess what, Ripple. So do you guys see this? I mean, do you, hopefully you're watching this right now and you're thinking this is the potential you know, bellwether component of the market that is going to start to really perk its head up there in terms of real world assets and tokenized securities. How many more times, how many more institutionally important people, how many more representatives from Ripple do you need to hear to validate the fact that XRP is the future and it's going to take over? There is still time for you but not much left as you've seen from this video so far, instant payments and US regulations are accelerating. But as we can see from this clip here from Cyprus again, the institutional money hasn't even entered the market yet. Retail, being people like us beat, the bankers beat the institutions. And the 100 billion AOM, the CEO of Wisdom Street predicts the next wave of capital will be institutional money. The US launch is, it's an extremely important milestone on this journey of normalizing the asset class as well as um, bringing things onto the blockchain in general. And so I think it's very, very constructive. Still, almost all of the money is retail, um, which is interesting. Um, even with BlackRock's great success, almost all that money is retail. There's just inherent demand. Usually, in investing, retail gets the last look. Here, they've gotten the lion's share of the benefit of a $60,000 coin, which is nice for retail to be a winner. Is there anything else you can tell us about the investors in spot Bitcoin ETFs? Um, you know, all investors want the same thing. This is um, better returns with less risk, right? That's pretty much what investing is. There definitely is a, um, a growing desire for um, alternative, alternatives to fiat um, because of the debasement. So um, it was a very well-constructed Bitcoin exposure. Having so limited supply, it's really worked beautifully. In fact, if you think about the one-year, three-year, five-year, 10-year, and 15-year return on Bitcoin, it is the best performing asset class. So that alone is how, you know, that drives money. That drives investors. It's done better than private equity. I'm expecting the next wave will be institutional money to come in. And it is when this happens, this inevitability, considering XRP was always intended for institutional investors, institutional use, this shift is when we will see XRP explode in value hundreds of trillions of dollars by the end of this year and this is just the beginning the money's going to keep flowing into the market getting bigger and bigger which is why xrp is going to make many more millionaires you can't look short term so please think long term and i'll see you in the next one